Civil Enforcement, Mr. Gonzalez speaking. Are you calling for personal or business taxes? Did you know that there were over 600 other warrants issued in the exact same week for the exact same amount to about five or 600 other different businesses? Randomly? When you look, when you look up the warrant search? There may be no over... I'll, there may be I'll 600 leave. people out there. Work. There may be 600 other people out there that have warrants on them that don't even know about it for tax bills that they well, paid. Well, there are other agencies. And at this point, everything's getting cleaned up. Yep, yep. And no harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. Thank you so much. And your, and your valid business does have a zero balance right now, so that's more important as well. Hopefully, this uh, will clean it all up now. Yes. The, 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 the business address being in Texas is a big part of cleaning it all up for good. Thank you very much exactly. for... Yes, exactly. You're Bye. welcome. Good afternoon, County Clerk. Hi, I have a lien and a warrant that's on my business, and I had a few questions about it. If, would you be the right person to talk to? Uh, hold on one second, please. Is the city tax warrant, state tax warrant? Uh, New York State Department of Taxation and Finance. Okay, one second, please. Um, this is against the business, right? Yes, sir. Okay, one second, please. Take your time. What's the name of the business, please? Rossman Repair Group. It's misspelled, so the misspelling on the lien is R O S S M. Wait, wait, hold, hold on, hold on. Sorry. No, worries, take your time. The, is there a control number related to this uh, warrant? I have a filing number for the lien, and I have a number for the separate number for the warrants. Should I give you the warrants the, or the uh, lien? What's the um, the filing number? Does it start with a four or a three? It starts with a zero, the filing number. Where is it, please? Zero zero three five zero seven one zero nine. Thank you. Rawson Repair Group Inc. Yes, sir. Filed on around August second, twenty sixteen, for about one thousand five fifty one. Yes, sir. All right, what's what's the um the question? I uh, so I have two of them. So I called the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance. And they said that this was issued an error and they're going to be resolving it because I had paid taxes for that year. There was just going some, the, they were applying it to something else. My main question is when I asked them to mail me a copy of the lien being, or the, the lien being taken away, they, they said, asked me for, for an address in Maine. So they said that they had on file for me a P.O. box in Maine. So my question is how could I have had this lien and then a warrant served? To me if I was never properly served because I don't recall being served for this how do I find the proof or the evidence that I was served for this do you know well this um, your uh, lien like most of the many others that get filed in this office are actually downloaded into our system they're not they're not talking directly by us they're they're fed into our system by the uh, Department of Taxation and Finance so as far as like you know you know uh, incorrect names or you know if they were served or whatever you should probably bring it up with them, sir. I asked, and they have no idea. They said they can't answer me, and I, I should contact the court. And the court that sent makes, me to that makes that makes two of us. I mean, it's like we we just, we just look at what's in our docket. We don't even docket these ourselves. They get they're downloaded from Albany, like I said. So we have no control over that. Okay, so you as download as like the information from Albany. No, no, they're USA. they're downloaded from Albany, not us. They're downloaded from Albany into our system, sir. Okay, so the lien gets downloaded into your system from Albany. Yeah, both of the, the lien, the, the, we have the, um, the actual, like, by the, uh, the paper, the actual, uh, the tax warrants themselves, but the, uh, they get docketed into our system um, from them, sir. They get fed into our system. Okay, so now, for, from my, to my knowledge, and tell me if I'm wrong, when it comes to the warrant, I had a warrant for, for this lien. Do warrants have to be served, or do, do these types of things have to be served, or like, how, what is the law? They're, they're probably. I, I don't know what the what the uh, what what happens, but it's, they probably are served. The the uh, the state should be able to answer that question, sir. Okay. Do you have the so you, you're saying the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance should be able to answer that question? Yes, not us. If I, if I had the answer, I would give it to you. Okay, I, I understand completely. So, you're, and the second question is: Is there any way for you to see what address was on file for this, or are you just able to see? For the Rossman or Repair Group? Group? Yes, sir. One eighty six First Avenue, New York, New York one triple zero nine four zero zero two. Okay, that's the correct address. I'm very curious as to why the State Department of Taxation and Finance thought I was a PO box in Maine. I don't know. Okay, so the, maybe, if, if maybe I wanted to, business. 
Okay, last question, and I promise I'll leave you alone. If I wanted evidence that I was served, where would I? The closest I got was something like Room 109 on 60 Center Street, uh, is where I would go to find all. Where could I go to find all the documentation as, regarding this lien? 109 109B is is where the uh, the docket and the warrant itself would be. That's all. That's all the documents we would have. And if it was satisfied, we would probably have you know possibly have the uh, satisfaction. But we don't have like affidavits or anything like that. Just the uh, the docket and the uh, the warrant itself. Okay, so you have the docket and the warrant itself, but there wouldn't be proof that it was served. So the uh, no, that's I all the New York State Department of Taxation Finance. You know, um, is filing the warrant against Wasman, so they probably uh, they probably served it, not us, because we're not the creditors. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your help. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a lovely day. You're welcome. You too. Bye. So when I asked the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance about this, you know, the whole wrong address shit, any of that, they had no answer. But then the county clerk's office and the Supreme Court also have no answer. Yesterday, the person from the Supreme Court suggested that I contact the clerk. The clerk suggested I contact the Department of Taxation and Finance. Department of Taxation and Finance suggested that I contact the court. Let's try again. At least little Clinton is, uh, he's purring. Welcome to the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. If you need help understanding the English language, you will be able to request an interpreter. If you were transferred to this number by someone you were just speaking with, press 1. If you dialed the tax department directly, press 2. Welcome. For English, press 1. Most New York State taxpayers can e-file their returns. You may be eligible to free file using brand name software accessed through our website. To see if you qualify, visit our website at www.tax.ny.gov. If you don't qualify for free file, you can purchase approved commercial software or use a paid tax preparer to e-file your return. Not ready to file? Request an income tax extension online. You can file and pay your extension in the same transaction. To better assist you, please have a copy of your New York State income tax return available. Our representatives will use information from your return to verify your identity. For assistance with the additional New York State child and earned income tax payments, press 1. For income tax refund status, press 2. For income tax forms, press 3. For assistance with an income tax bill, press 4. All other personal income tax questions, press 5. To hear this information again, press star. Most New York State taxpayers can the e-file their I... returns. This you may be eligible to free file most New York State most New York Oh my god. Most New York state tax When you hit 0 it just keeps going. Returns. It d you it literally just repeats what it repeats the message. It doesn't get you to a person. It doesn't ignore it. Our when you hit 0 to see if you qualify, it actually brings you back to the beginning of the message. Thank you it's for punishment. the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance. Goodbye. Fuck you. Let's try this again. Welcome to the New York St for English. Plus one. Most New York State taxpayers can e-file their return. Most New York State tax. If you're calling for your balance due, or to pay this bill, press one. If you don't understand your bill and would like an explanation, 
Press 2. To hear this information again... You have reached the billing, payment, and information line for the New York State Tax Department. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. If you need help uh, understanding the English language, assurance. you'll be able to request an interpreter. We are experiencing high call volume. There may be long wait times and some callers will not get through to a representative. You know what? Please consider creating an online services account on our website, www.tax.ny.gov. Online services is the fastest, most convenient way to do business with the tax department. With an online services account, you can make payments, including installment payment plans, view and print your remaining balance, and verify that your payments were credited, and more. To proceed using your taxpayer ID, employer ID, or social security number, press 1. If you, if you are calling about a personal tax liability, press 1. For business tax types, press 2. If your business ID, employer identification number, or taxpayer ID, contains only numbers after the B, press 1. Otherwise, does it have a B? press 2. There's no B. There's no if your taxpayer ID begins with TF, it doesn't. press 1. It's a number. If your taxpayer ID begins with NY, it doesn't begin press with NY 2. or TF. If your taxpayer ID ends with SS, it doesn't end with press FS. Press 3. If your taxpayer ID ends with S1, press 4. It with that either. If your taxpayer ID ends with C, press 5. It's 4542715. Press 0. Thank you for calling New York Information Center. My name is Tim. ID number 61981. Are you calling about a business or a personal account? Hey, business. Okay. And when is your EIN number? Four five four two seven six four nine five. He's going to help me. And what is the company name? Rossman Repair Group Inc. Okay. So what I can do is I can get you right over to that department, and they can actually they have more access than I do, and they can actually help you out with whatever you need. Okay. Okay, I figured that was too good to be true. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Sorry about that. No worries. Have a good day. You too. I knew that she was too good to be true. For sales tax, press 1. For corporate franchise tax, including dissolutions, press 2. For withholding tax, press 3. All others, press 4. To hear the... Please, listen care. What? Care? No, you're about to hang up on me, aren't you? You're going to hang up on me? No fucking way, bro. You actually hung up on me. For assistance oh, regarding the back. New York City Taxi Cab Ride Tax, taxi? the Transportation Network Company Assessment, the fuck? or a repair company. congestion surcharge, Who'd you transfer press me to? 3. For diesel motor fuel diesel? and petroleum business tax, Bro. press 4. The fuck for did you me to? tobacco, alcohol, and vapor products taxes, no. press 5. For medical marijuana excise tax, opioid excise no. tax, or... Adult use cannabis, press 6. For waste tire management fee or hazardous waste fee, press 7. For authorized combative sports tax, press 8. To hear this information again, press None star. of those options are me. Zero. None of those options Please apply to me. Listen carefully to the following eight options. I listen to them. They're For not income in tax refund status, press 1. Okay. For highway use tax, IFTA, International Fuel Tax Agreement, no. or OSCAR, One Stop Credentialing and Registration, press 2. 
For assistance regarding the New York City taxicab ride tax, the Transportation Network Company Assessment, or congestion surcharge, no. press 3. For diesel motor fuel and petroleum business tax, press 4. No. For cigarette, tobacco, alcohol, and vapor products taxes, press 5. No. For medical marijuana excise tax, You're repeating the options! Tax, None of these are me! Adult use <laughs> cannabis, please listen carefully. No! Oh shit, it did something. I just spammed zero eight times. It did something. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Due to high call volume, you may experience longer than normal wait times. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you for your patience. Answers to many of your questions can be found on our website, www.tax.ny.gov. All of our representatives are busy. Please hold for the next available representative. Your feedback is important to us. Oh, really? At the end of your call, you can visit our website at www.tax.ny.gov about your telephone experience with us. The survey, entitled Call Center Customer Satisfaction Survey, is located on the Contact Us page. Also, answers to many of your questions I'm can sure be found on our website. Again, our website address is www.tax.ny.gov. Thank you for holding. Your call is important to us. No, it's not. If you are calling so because you forgot your username me. or need to reset your password, Don't you can go to www.tax.ny.gov and select Login, located near the top right corner of the page. You can obtain your username or reset your password. Thank you for calling the New York State Business Information Center. My name is Erica, ID 64617. May I help you today? Hi, I have a question about a lien and a warrant that was placed on my business from the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance seven years ago. Okay, bear with me just a moment. Take your time, take your time. How's everything going for you today? So far, so good. Yourself? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. I'm happy to. Good, good. Okay. So anything regarding a warrant or a lien on your business would be the collections department, and I can transfer you over to that unit, and you can speak with them about that. Okay. Um, since I've been transferred a couple of times already, uh, so I am curious, Do you just so I make sure I go to the right place. A warrant was placed in my business that was never served to it, and when I called in to ask about having it removed, they agreed, but they had a P.O. box on file for me that's in another state that I don't live in. So I'm just trying to find an answer to two questions, which is, A, how can a warrant be, or a lien or warrant be issued without being served? And B, how did an address 500 miles away from me in a state that I don't live in show up on my, on my file? Who would be the... Now, I, I imagine that there's nobody there that's going to no department for this specific type of inquiry. But who do you think would be the most likely to ha be able to give me any insight into how this happened? Um, collections, because they, like I said, they're the ones that would issue the warrants, the levies, the liens, and they would have, um, they'll be able to take a look into the warrant, why it, why it happened, what, you know, all the information regarding that, and they can go from there and, and assist you with it. So collections is your best bet to speak with. Okay, and my last time, I promise, before I promise I will leave you alone. Uh, so when I last spoke to collections, they told me to talk to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court's office told me to talk to the county clerk, and the county clerk told me to call back here. So if, if you're sure, I'll, I'm, I'll happily get transferred to them, but at this point, it's kind of becoming a yes, meme. Yes, because... I, I understand. I apologize. You've been bounced around. But if, regarding anything regarding warrants and liens, that would definitely be collections and that it would be your best bet to speak with. So let me get you over there um, and you can start speaking with them about this. Um, All right. Thank you so much. Regarding your business, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer you now. Um, would you like their phone number before I transferred you? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Okay. Phone number is 518 Four five seven five four three four. Okay, thank you so much. 
You're welcome. I'm going to transfer you now. You have a great day. All right. You too, ma'am. You too. Thank you. That's the same number of the guy that I got the last two times. All right, here's the thing. Here's what you're going to notice. All of our representatives I'm get the same are again. currently busy helping others. Do you know why I'm going to get the same person Please again? Please remain on the because line for a of your state call of 8. will be in the order it was received. A city of 8.5 million people. There are one callers ahead of you. The caller waiting the longest has been on I'm hold two minutes. I'm 99% certain they have Please one person answering the next question. Available I could be proven wrong. I'm open to being proven wrong. But I've spoken to that guy twice at this point, and I wouldn't be surprised. Civil enforcement, Mr. Gonzalez speaking. That's My a ID fucking porn star in your voice if I've ever heard one. Four. Are you calling for personal or business taxes? Business taxes. What's your business ID number? Four five four two seven six four nine five. One moment, please. We'll pull up a record on this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What is the name that appears on record for this business, please? Rossman Repair Group, Inc. Good. I do have the right file. And what, sir, is your name, please? Louis Rossman. And what's your position? Owner of the business. As the owner, what is your social security number, please? Sure. My social security number... Thank you. What is the address on your business, please? That's the confusing part. So on file, New what's York's the physical? Own... What's the what's? Well, let's look to give you the simple. I always ask the following: What is the current physical address on the business? One forty-one West Twenty-seventh Street, New York, New York one zero 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 one. Fantastic. Now, does the business maintain a separate mailing address? Yes, 2410 San Antonio Street, Austin, Texas, 78705. Thank you. So it does confirm everything on here. And the current valid phone number for the business area code first, please. 347-552-2258. Are you still operating this business? Yes. Good. How can I help you in the business today? So I had a lien and a warrant placed on the business in August 6, 2016 from New York State Department of Taxation and Finance for $1,500. Do you have that warrant? Do you have uh, that warrant ID number? Yes, sir. Well, it's E as in Edward, 0436-2620. Oh. Okay, I'm going to stop you because sure. that's not matching anything on this record. Do you have a copy of that warrant with you right now? I just ha I I don't have a physical copy, and that that's part of what I was curious about. So, when I called uh, up last time, they this they said this warrant in the lien was issued in error because it was the, something like the ta my corporate tax returns were being applied to a temporary ID instead of the, my federal or permanent ID for my taxes, and that the address that was on file for the business was eight for PO Box eight forty two in Berwick, Maine. Okay. So let's take a step back then. Let's take a step back. Sure. Because the warrant ID number you started with doesn't match the record on this business. So if you're saying it was on a different business ID number, what's the other business ID number you had? 
When you say business ID number, do you mean my EIN, my tax number? Yeah, your business ID number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just the four five four two seven six four nine five. You don't have, you haven't been issued a pre previously a business ID number separate from this one. You uh, no, this is that's the, that's the number that I have. Okay, so let me ask you again to read me that warrant ID number you're looking at. E as in Edward, zero four three, six two six, two zero three, W as in Walter, zero zero one. Oh, well, that does not exist on this business. But let me go try to backtrack something here. Two completely different businesses. So you re your business was originally issued a different business ID number. Not much I'm looking at right now. Let's try this over here. And what is it with that warrant you have in your, the record you have in your hand, what is it looking to do? Well, this warrant was for unpaid corporate tax for, I believe, 2012 through 2014. Uh, when I had called up, somebody had said that this warrant, you actually did pay your taxes for this, these three years. We have the returns. So they were going to cancel the lien and send me a copy of it. The, point, the part that I wanted an answer on was when they were going to send me a copy of all the paperwork, they gave me P.O. Box 842 in Berwick, Maine, as the address on file for my business to send it to. Now, my question is, I never got notified of this lien or this warrant. The only reason I know it exists is because a banker brought it up to me seven years after the fact when doing a credit search for my business, and he showed me the warrant and the lien. So I'm curious, how does the warrant and the lien process work? Since I've been getting paperwork for the past 10 years from New York State, no problem and I never got notified of this lien. And I'm curious if this is related to the P.O. Box 842 in Berwick, Maine, that was on file for my account the last time I called the tax department. So I'm, I guess to, to condense it, because my apologies, I'm rambling here, is A, how did this random address get put on my file? And B, how can, I get, how can there be a warrant on me if I have not been served? Well, let me back up even further. When we file what we call a tax warrant against a person or a business. Commonly, it's known to the public as a lien or a judgment. It's the same thing. There's no difference. Okay. So if we file a warrant against, in fact, against the business, then it becomes public record at the county clerk's office and remains there until resolved. Now, the warrant you indicated, and what is the name that appears on record for that warrant? Rossman Repair Group, Inc., but it's misspelled with one okay, end. So That's let a me, there you go. That's what I wanted you to identify. That's what I wanted you to identify for me. So, and what was the address shown on that warrant? I don't have a physical copy of the warrant. That's the, I just have, uh, I went to the site that where you can search a business name or a personal name, and it shows you the list of warrants. So the main thing is I don't have a physical copy of it. And the person I was speaking to at New York State Department, the, the collections department last time, said the address that they had on file for me was P.O. Box 248 in Berwick, Maine. So I, I actually called the I post office there and asked, address. yeah, do you, well, she changed it to 2410 San Antonio Street last week because they were going to send me a paper, a piece of paper saying that this lien was, no longer exists for my banker well, to the address gonna, that I live at now. I'm going to interject. I'm going to reject that out-of-state address doesn't exist. It never existed on here that I can see. If one did, it would show on here. Is this is what I do as well? When we update addresses, if you told me you were you had an address, a, a mailing address, because you go to Florida for the for the for the uh, winter, I would see that. But there is no main address. I'm looking at both files side by side. 
there was never a main address on this. Now, now warrant. Let's go back to the warrant here on the file. Pull up that history. Go to here. Okay, so let's make sure we cross-reference this into the system. Make sure we're talking about the same thing. Go to here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Try to pull up the history on here. Okay, so that warrant that you identified from an original business ID number that predates the one you gave me shows it's in the process of being vacated. Now, that process sometimes is re required to advise can take up to, but not always, 90 days. What a warrant vacate does means is that once it's completed, because we have to tell the county clerk's office after we've done our own investigation to ensure this is a valid action to take, we contact the county clerk's office telling them to now remove all evidence of that warrant from public record. It gets expunged from public record. So once they've done that, once they scrubbed it from their files, they report that to us, and then in turn, that triggers our system to send a warrant vacate notice out. And then that is proof to you that the warrant is now vacated, expunged from public record. Simple as that. That makes sense. But right now it's still in process. Yes, the, I uh, I am confident that I will receive after the 90 days or so, because the woman told me that this process can take a fair amount of time. As I'm, that part I've solved. The part that I'm looking to solve right now is figuring out why I never got notified of this in August of 2016 when the warrant or the lien were initially served because I've never gotten a notification that there were unpaid taxes from 2012 to 2014 since I've been filing that whole time. Uh, the moment she, the woman on the phone looked at this lien, she said, my apologies, this is an error. So I mean, my main th goal with this phone call, and feel free to tell me if this is not a question that you're able to answer or solve, is how, can a warrant be issued or a lien be issued without me being served? How would I have been served? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much those two questions. Like, because I, I, I had to have, I had to search for a warrant on myself randomly to find out that this existed. Because mm -hmm. I mean, it's for a, well, a very unsubstantial. Like, fifteen hundred dollars is pretty much one week salary here. So, like, if there was a piece of mail that was going out for four years saying you owe fifteen hundred dollars, even if it was an error. I probably shouldn't say this. Even if it was an error, I probably just would have paid it just so that the tax department goes away. I, mm, I never got... Right. And, and the fact that the woman on the phone said, P.O. is your address, P.O. Box 842 in Berwick, Maine, that kind of lined up with the fact that I had not been notified about this in 10 years. And I, to be clear, I completely understand this is not your fault. You're probably not the person who had anything to do with this. So I don't mean if I sound frustrated at all to be taking anything out on you, because that would be right. unfair. I'm just curious right. if you could kind of give me some idea well, or closure on how that happened. So, we can issue a warrant against any person or a business, and what happens in more than a fair amount of cases, we, let's say, for example, just a business, okay, or person, and we issue the warrant against them. Once that's filed, we send them a copy saying this is now on public record, but if it's a personal, let's say it goes on personal taxes, we send it to John Jones, and John Jones no longer lives in Manhattan where we sent the, the warrant to, that we filed the warrant against him on and we sent the warrant notice to. He moved to Alaska. Okay, so we won't know he moved to Alaska unless he contacted us. Or the business dropped out of existence, it stopped operating, and is no longer functional and doesn't provide us an updated address. We still have an old address on record. So, and even though we try to send the notice to then Mr. Jones or to the business, it gets returned to us. At that point, we have no forwarding address. So we can always issue a warrant. It doesn't stop us from issuing a warrant, but uh, it would still remain open until it gets resolved one way or another. 
In some cases, some of those warrants never get resolved because the individuals never contact us, the businesses never contact us. Even though the initial issue, now I'm not going to say in every case, but the initial issue is say Mr. Jones knows he didn't pay his personal tax return for 1872, okay, or the business knows it filed its return without making payment and therefore should have expected a balance owed as well. So, but in this case, you, what we've done is we're, we're vacating the warrant. So that's going to clean it up for you and your business, and you'll get that warrant satisfaction letter. At this point, it only started this month, so figure about 60 to 90 days from this point. Yeah, I figure 60 to 90 days, and that, that makes sense. And the fact that if a business address changes in any way, shape, or form, that the letter can go out and bounce back, but the warrant still is sticks, it makes total sense to me. The thing is, between 2012 and 2019, my address was the 186 First Avenue address, and it never had changed. So I was getting, like, you know, the pieces of mail saying, hey, you owe sales tax, hey, you owe your corporate income tax, and all that. But I never got any mail saying that I owed taxes for those three years that the warrant and the lien was put out for. So I'm guessing at this point, the best possible thing that I could imagine is either A, the post office was selectively losing mail related to my lien and warrant, or it never got sent. Well, in this case, I'm not sure where you're getting three years worth because it's only, it was only one bill. It wasn't three bills. The, well, the person again, on the, the phone said this is for 2012 to 2014, where the, the returns that they said I didn't file. That's, that doesn't match anything I can see here. That doesn't even remotely match up. And the address for Maine, I don't see any record of a Maine address being uh, used here or even recorded. If I didn't record that phone call, so I I'd think know. I was crazy. So the mailing address that we have on file is P.O. Box 842, uh, Berwick, Maine. Is that the correct address? Sure, I understand, but I have no idea where that came from. Whoever gave that to you, I have no idea why such such an address was given. But at this point, again, the whole important thing is the warrant's being vacated, and you're going to get that notice soon. Okay? I appreciate that. Okay, so essentially for the, okay. for the fact that I was never notified about a warrant or a lien on my business at the address that was made available, there's just... There's nobody who's accountable or responsible for that. Well, I'll explain the system itself. Now, I can issue warrants when necessary. Any one of us here can. But there is an automatic process where if the computer runs a program and says, well, these 2,000 businesses have failed to respond. Now they're eligible for a tax warrant. The system will actually issue a warrant then automatically. But um, it's typically, it's, it's the auto process that happens more frequently than not. Uh, only in instances where required, we can then manually enter a warrant in, such as what I can do. But as for that warrant, it was a valid issuance initially, and then now upon review afterwards, after the fact, they've decided that warrant should never have been issued and they, they're vacating it. Okay. So that's a way we can clean up something that may have been issued in error uh, or not, necess not necessary based on further review of the information in the case and the history. Okay. Well, that's that. I figure I'm probably never going to get an answer on how that address got on there. And... Good question. Yeah. Because I can't find any evidence of anything from Maine. New York State Department of Tax and Finance is sure not going to take any accountability or responsibility for screwing up my chances of getting financing for seven years of my life. Well, I don't know where the Maine address came up. So Nobody knows. You Nobody said knows. you talked to, you the talked to somebody Court, here? Collections, the Supreme Court, the county clerk, New York State Department of Taxation and Finance, business, help, collections. Nobody has any idea. Nobody has any clue why I never, I was notified of every single other corporate and sales tax return 
every single other issue for 10 years, but never got notified of this. Because the warrant doesn't even show a main address. Yeah, it, it, well, what address does it show? It shows the 186 First Avenue one, right? Yeah. Yeah. That... Did you know that there were over 600 other warrants issued in the exact same week for the exact same amount to about five or 600 other different businesses? Randomly? When you look, when you look up the warrant search? There may be no over... I'll, there may be I'll 600 leave. people out there. work. There may be 600 other people out there that have warrants on them that don't even know about it for tax bills that they well, paid. There are other agencies. There are other agencies that also can issue warrants. And one of the things we hear back from frequently is it says, oh, it says the state tax department, but it's not the state tax department. They can issue them through the state tax departments, but typically from another agency. So well, there's those issues that come up. And sometimes that involves the New York State Department of Labor, which is a separate agency. Well, I guess that's that. So Thank I you very much for taking for, the time. I can't speak for them. But at this point, everything's getting cleaned up. Yep, yep. No harm, no foul. No shortly. harm, no foul. Thank you so much. And your, and your valid business does have a zero balance right now. So that's more important as well, that you have a zero balance and everything's running well on that. Yes. Okay? Good. So I'll put the notes on record of your call and what we've discussed, and uh, hopefully this uh, will clean it all up now. Yes. The, the, the business address being in Texas is a big part of cleaning it all up for good. Thank you very much. Exactly. for Yes, exactly. You're Bye. welcome.